Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to Hashtag BSB. So in my last episode, I let you guys in on the purpose of my vlog and gave you guys a little background information about me. In this episode, I'm going to talk about why I restarted my journey. Now this video is going to be one of a few videos that highlights the beginning stages of me re-embarking on my journey to business school. So let's jump right in. In 2014, I accepted a position at Oxford University Press, which is a very low paying, not-for-profit company. While I was at OUP, I made $30,000. $30,000. Now I'm just going to let you guys know it was a struggle making ends meet I pinched pennies the entire time if you'd like me to like create a video on like how I survived on the $30,000 salary I definitely will just write it in the comment section and I'll make it happen but yeah it was a struggle not to mention three months of accepting the position and working at Oxford I decided to move to the city excuse me I wasn't like digging up my nose I promise I just had an itch um, but yeah, I decided to move to the city because I didn't want to live in New Jersey anymore. Um, I was tired of the strenuous commute. My commute from Plainfield was about an hour and a half. And because Oxford didn't pay that much, I drove half of my commute. I drove to Newark, prayed I'd find a parking spot by Newark Penn, risked getting a ticket almost every day, and then hopped on the path to come into the city which is always packed. packed. We were packed like sardines. It was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, with that type of commute, by the time I got home, at the end of the day, like, I was exhausted, didn't want to do anything, wasn't motivated to do anything, didn't aspire to do anything. Um, and I was tired of living like that. So I was like, yeah, it's time for me to move out, move to the city. I've always wanted to live there. Um, so it was kind of like a dream come true, even though I didn't have the salary that I once had before. So moving on to my next reason for restarting my journey to business school. Prior to Oxford, I made way more money. <laughs> so I knew I deserved more and that my skill set was worth a lot more than what I was getting. Um, but due to some difficult decisions that I had to make um, related to family, I had to give up uh, that other position. And then I also didn't really like the industry that I was working in at the time so I kind of saw it as a way out and I decided to have a more positive outlook on the situation. I saw it as an opportunity to kind of start over career wise because I knew I always wanted a marketing role in the city and I always wanted to live in the city. So this was just a, st a starting point. Now my third and final reason for wanting to restart my journey was because I was two years out of college and something about um, the graduation season for the class of 2015 really sparked something within me like just seeing friends who had just walked across the stage fellowshipping with their family their friends just being so excited about the moment really like took me back to my graduation year 2013 where I was doing the same exact thing running across the stage to get my diploma well actually my diploma wasn't in there I had to wait for it to get mailed um but yeah you know just getting a little diploma book fellowshipping with my friends and family afterwards hearing my grandma actually say she's proud of me I mean like I low-key know she's always proud of me but like to actually hear her say it was definitely a surreal moment yeah, it really brought me back um, to that time and I really started to reflect on the two years post-grad that I had just experienced and I'm just like, what have I accomplished? What have I really achieved? Like, yes, I was basically a full-blown adult. I paid rent even though I was still living with my grandma. You know, she charged me rent, made me pay the house fee. Um, I also had a car, my first car actually. And I was buying a lot of things that I had always dreamed of owning but just never could afford. Outside of the material things, like what did I really accomplish? I didn't have any real credentials, like I didn't have a promotion or anything like that. So I'm like, it's time to go back to school. So when I decided it was time for me to go back to school, I began researching MBA programs in the US as well as overseas and new GMAT study material because the 2013 Kaplan books that I had at the time were just not going to cut it because like I said, at that time it was 2015. So the books I had were way outdated. So I needed some 2015 books, didn't know how I was going to afford it on a $30,000 uh, salary, <laughs> but I made, I made it happen. 
And while I was doing all that research, I stumbled across a free event called the Forte Forums, which is hosted by the Forte Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that aims to improve and prepare women for business school, as well as help them obtain high level business roles. Now, I'm going to talk about my experience at the Forte Forum in the next episode of Hashtag BSB, so make sure you tune in. In the meantime, if you have any questions or any comments, definitely leave them below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, bye guys!